For the past several years, his political life has been married in controversy. At what point does the party say, you know what? Enough is enough. Whether or not the man is guilty or innocent, the attention that is unnecessarily drawn towards the party is too much to bear. At what point do you meet that conclusion to say, you know what, thanks for everything, but we need to reshape the image of the party? That is very true. But unlike my opponents and my detractors report to the public, I am not a dictator. So I cannot make that decision unilaterally. It is not for Shine Barrow, the party leader, to say enough is enough. Is that the decision you believe would be in your party's best interest? Is what that decision? The decision? A decision to purge John Saldiva from the UDP. Is that, would that be in the party's best interest? That is something that we most certainly have to consider. Do you, based on what you just said, do you see John Saldiva as a candidate for your party in the 2025 elections, assuming you are still leader? And the second question is, what do you make of the fact that uh, Steve Pereira, literally by 7.30 a.m., had informed me that uh, though he's legal advisor to the party, he will not sit on any such committee that he was resigning as of 7.30 a.m. I think you sent out the party notice at 7.35 a.m. Well, he's no longer the legal advisor. Uh, Steve Pereira is no, 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 no longer the legal advisor. He's no longer the legal advisor um, because you, you, you don't have a, an option in a matter like this. This is not about Steve Pereira. This is about the institution of the UDP. And when you take on the responsibility of being a legal advisor, um, that, that's a, a hefty burden to carry. So when the burden becomes overwhelming, you don't say, oh, <laughs> I had to take this off, but I want to depend on, oh, no, it doesn't work like that.